deputation is from uh, Tim Sinters, Daryl Aiken and Warwick Shaver, um, who will speak on item 14, uh, peer review of Tonkin and Taylor report. I'd like to come forward. And I am, I am sorry, but I'm going to have to excuse myself part way through this discussion, but I'll be able to hear your full thing and then I'll leave the meeting in the capable hands of the Deputy Mayor um, as I have an engagement. Right, far away, welcome. Good morning everyone, uh, thank you for uh, council for our for And I'd like to introduce our people please. Uh, I've got on my right Dr. Daryl Latham, not Aiken, Daryl Latham, <laughs> Karina Hay, Dr. Andy Scrass, and Warwick Schaefer. And I must, um, Daryl actually is on the Sumner Residents Association, and he's our link to that side. Warwick is from, Re from Redcliffs, he represents us from that side. So we're a cross section of people. Uh, also, Andy Warwick and myself, are both on the community reference group. We were picked by the community to be part of the peer review, working with Morris Hogan, who's actually at the back, who would be willing to answer questions if need be later. So we've been, we had to uh, work with the team to pick a panel of experts who did the peer review. Mm. <coughs> and thank you for that, taking up that role. No, it, was, it was very interesting, thank you. CCRU acknowledges that it has been a difficult year for the Council and for all coastal and Christchurch residents with respect to the coastal hazards policy. It is a relatively new area for councils and we acknowledge that we are all in finding our way. Understanding the science and how it impacts on council policy and citizens, we accept it has been at times contentious for all of us. However, we now have clarity with the release of the final report. The coastal hazard policy and the release of the final report has certainly been a high profile and attracted much interest in the media during the last several days with leading items in the Christchurch Press and the editorial page also. We are certain that all Christchurch and coastal residents will be very interested in the outcome of today's meeting. I'd like to pass you over now to Daryl, please. Thank you, Tim, and uh, good morning, uh, everybody. Thanks for your time this morning. Uh, we have limited time, so um, the objective will be to cut to the chase. Um, I think it is quite clear uh, where we are heading. Um, the implications of the peer review um, show us that it is a robust document, so um, we'll try to move there as fast as uh, possible. If you go to page two, you will note that there are some background uh, briefing information setting the scene, and that's uh, for uh, councillors who um, perhaps uh, may have uh, forgotten part of the process that we've been through. Um, I'm not going to go through and talk about um, those bullet points, apart from to say that uh, we uh, remain grateful to Prime Minister John Key for his intervention uh, in sending down um, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith and the Honourable uh, Nikki Wagner early on in the process uh, to uh, talk about the removal um, of the uh, hazards policy. But the current such moving, moving forward to the current situation, um, I think it is now time <coughs> for councillors to make a decision. Um, the findings of the peer review of the scientific expert, uh, experts has been released and I think it's time to do the right thing. The Council requested that the scientific peer review panel suggest ways forward. The panel's findings provide that way forward. We now have the opportunity to start, start again and to do this in a way that can be an exemplar. There are good people in council and we acknowledge that. There are also good people in the community and local experts as well and uh, we have engaged with them and we have the chance to produce something great. So councillors, it's time to make a decision. No more procrastinating. It's time to do the right thing. 
The independent peer review panel has come out with a clear and robust determination. We ask what more is it that you actually require in order to make a decision. I think this is a decision that councillors should lead. I understand that uh, there is some bureaucracy and legalese attached to the decision, but I think councillors have it in their grasp to direct council as to what they would like and what they currently understand through um, the excellent reporting in the Christchurch Press with the editorial about doing the right thing and also the coverage that the press has provided in a fair and balanced matter um, towards the council and towards uh, local communities that we have some robust decision making. What do we want now? Christchurch Coastal Residents United endorses the findings of the peer review panel of scientific experts that coastal flooding and erosion information should be removed from thousands of Christchurch property records. We also endorse the panel's recommendations on process and procedure. In support of this, we draw your attention, and you should have it in front of you, attachment A, Peer review of the Christchurch Coastal Hazards Assessment Report of the 18th of August. The way forward, and there are two bullet points there which we have <coughs> included. The first bullet point says the Christchurch City Council re to require withdrawal of the hazard maps in the report and put to one side until fin final mapping is agreed amongst all stakeholders in the second and third stages of adaptive management. The final bullet point, Christchurch City Council to advise the LIM authority that the withdrawal is necessary until the legal requirements of the NZCPS are complete because the current mapping, the current mapping may be legally unsound. Furthermore, Christchurch Coastal Residents United also endorses this statement contained in the Christchurch Press editorial of the 24th of August 2016, titled, Coastal Risk Information Should Be on Land Reports Once Science is Robust. Quote, removing less than robust details from those residents' limbs is the right thing to do. The advice Christchurch Coastal Residents United has received indicates that adding and leaving the coastal risk information on limbs on those properties identified through the fast tracking of the district plan has potential to expose the Christchurch City Council to legal liability. <coughs> we hope that all councils councillors as elected members have taken the time to read and understand the legal implications of the peer review because they are serious. We now have the op oops go over Christchurch Coastal Residents United would respectfully request and we are confident that councillors would also agree that it is preferable for the Christchurch City Council to work in partnership with Christchurch Coastal Residents United and the affected residents rather than having to seek a resolution <coughs> through the courts. There are many people that have suffered. Please don't force a legal decision. That is a plea. Please don't force a legal decision. Councillors, removing limb notifications is the right thing to do. You will be aware that there's an old phrase that says um, doing things right and doing the right things. Well, in the process of um, introducing coastal hazard mappings and um, hazard report and the legislation that has surrounded that, the council attempted um, to do the right thing or do it, the council attempted to do things right. Unfortunately, um, it didn't quite transpire that that was the actual situation. As a result, 
and at the Council's directive, uh, we have gone through a process of ha having a peer review. So um, my final point um, is that um, in the process of doing things right, it is now up to councillors and council to actually do the right thing. Thank you, Mayor and councillors, for taking the time to listen. We're happy to respond to any questions you may have. 29 seconds to go. <laughs> so, did anyone have a question? No? I think you've um, presented your um, position succinctly, so um, thank you very much for um, appearing in front of us, and we're now going to replace you with the, um, with the staff who are going to advise us on the report. Thank you very much. Thank you.